Hi, this is Danny Walker here, and uh, I'm just recording this video because Jack and I are really honored we got invited to speak at the Sarcoidosis Network Conference this October at OHSU in Portland, Oregon. And the, when Christy first uh, invited us and asked us if we would be um, guest speakers, I was really honored and excited because it was like, gosh, all, the, all these years of advocating for people with sarcoidosis have finally paid off. And then I started getting really freaked out because I have no uh, letters behind my name. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. Not a Well, I don't have my uh, nutrition certificate or, you know, haven't gone to school for it or anything. But, um, and I started feeling overwhelmed because I feel like we're not really uh, qualified to speak to these specialists and doctors from uh, OHSU and people who deal with sarcoidosis patients on a, on a medical perspective at all. And so I talked to Jack and of course he's very excited to be able to speak. So we'll be sharing both the perspective from the sarcoidosis patient and also the spouse, what it's like to be, be going through that from the spouse's perspective and, you know, how it affects the family, um, physically, emotionally, financially, all the drains and the strains that sarcoidosis really puts on a family. And uh, so we're really excited. We're really honored. And we are creating a product around this to share with everyone because I think it's really important. It's one of those things when, when Jack was at his worst, I, I certainly didn't talk about, you know, how hard it was, um, you know, how, our, how much our finances were, you know, in the toilet, uh, because we were right in the middle of it. And I felt bad because it's like, who am I to speak about all, all the things I'm stressed out about when he's the one who is dealing with this disease and sarcoidosis. And so it, it's like we were living in the house together and he had sarcoidosis, but we never really talked about how it affected either one of us because we both kind of, he didn't want to let me know how bad he really was doing because he didn't want me to worry. And I didn't want to show any, you know, I didn't want to show my kids that I was even worried at all. Um, I didn't want him to know I was worried. I didn't want him to, I didn't want to feel like, uh, you know, put more burden on him and, and feel like I'm the whiny one of the house when, like I said, he was the one suffering and really having a hard time with this disease. So anyway, those will be some things that we're sharing. And then of course, um, whether these doctors want to hear it or not, I'll be sharing a lot about uh, natural options and different supplements and lifestyle changes that I really hope that they will listen and recommend, at least recommend and give people with sarcoidosis the option like they do with cancer now. I mean, if people with cancer now, a doctor will say, well, what is your diet like? What are you eating? Are you exercising? Here's, you know, a, a, some different things that you can do in to complement the treatment that we're going to do, whether it be chemo or radiation or what have you. And so my hope is that from this conference, uh, not only will we get to learn and help, but um, hopefully that their doctors are open. Obviously, they are because we got invited. So um, anyway, I just wanted to say thank you to the whole sarcoidosis community, Christy especially, and uh, for, for the research and the awareness that is going out there. It is growing, so keep fighting. And um, if you want to go and subscribe to be able to get the product when it does launch on August 15th, um, It'll be an ebook with a video screen, uh, kind of like a little, I don't know, movie between Jack and I. You'll have, get to hear from Jack too. Um, uh, go to sur survivingsarcoidosis.com. All right. Thank you so much and everybody have a wonderful, wonderful day.